I've been hinting at this video for a while now, and it's taken longer than expected, trust me. I promise the wait will have been worth it. Today we will be discussing Aligner AI. Let's start by giving a brief description of what it is. Aligner AI is a label box connected marketplace that hires freelancers to label and evaluate data and help align, <laughs> get it, large language models using an AI interviewer and client facing talent portal. Official materials pitch flexible, well-paid work, but third party reviews describe inconsistent task availability. I will be giving you a real inside look at Aligner AI as someone who has actually been accepted and worked on some of the projects. You can find the website by going to aligner.com. Shown on screen. The first thing you'll want to do is click apply now. You will then be taken to a new screen for you to upload your resume, verify your phone number, review and fill out your profile, and to verify your identity. Now, my screen looks a little different after clicking apply because I've already been accepted. <laughs> Not to brag. A few months ago, though. Why do I keep mentioning that I applied a few months ago? Why didn't I just make a video then? Well, that's because I didn't actually have any assessments or tasks to do beyond just the English verification one. Now you can see I have nearly 100 assessments that I can take. While yes, I could take these assessments, I'm not actually qualified to take a majority of them. And here's where the first major complaint actually comes from. These are all AI interviews. And a lot of people suspected at the time that this platform was actually just training AI to complete these interviews, not actually give out real work. I was a little skeptical of this at first, but after finally being given some evaluation and production tasks, I can assure you that they do actually exist. So after you fill out some assessments, you may be given access to the go to projects tab here. You can click on this, go to label box, sign in with your Google account. You will then maybe be taken to this labeling assessments workspace. And I believe this workspace is for if you have any assessments such as that English one that I mentioned before, or maybe any other ones that you might qualify for. And you'll take assessments there. Afterwards, you will click on workspaces, you will go to aligners, and it'll actually take you to any active projects. Now, some of these projects are evaluation projects, meaning you still need to pass them. However, there is a production task here as well. So this means that you're actually doing work on something here. So this is my proof that this isn't just one big AI training scam. The tasks are similar to what you may see on other platforms, verifying AI's accuracy when given prompts, how well it handles human inputs and responds with the proper emotion. You score or rate the responses from very helpful to not very helpful. You generate criteria to test the AI on and to see how well it performs, typically in an attempt to get it to make mistakes to train it. There are some audio tasks as well where you record your voice prompt and score how well it understood it. All in all, this platform seems to be very well put together, has very transparent communication channels, seems to have plenty of assessments to go around for multiple education levels, all the way up to PhD, and job opportunities. From what I've researched <clears throat> from Reddit, you see a large amount of people calling it a scam, how it wasted their time, not to trust it, but also a number of people who made, you know, 50 to 100 bucks. Like you see with all the jobs of this type, I'm under the impression that this job is legit, but strict. If you put in the work, you'll be paid for it. Now for my two cents of how I feel about the platform. I've been on it for months. I've been kind of scoping it out here and there over the weeks, uh, applying for some assessments, taking some of the assessments. And I would definitely say that it feels harder than data annotation. Definitely feels a little bit more strict. Seems a little bit more tedious when it comes to filling out what feels like 50 multiple choice questions for one prompt. I don't really like that. Uh, the pay rate hasn't been made transparent at all before any of the assessments. I do not like that either. The grading seems a lot slower whenever I do take these assessments. I'm not even 100% sure if I pass right away. I never hear about it. I never get any of the grading back. So it's probably worse than outlier and data annotation for getting immediate feedback and access to tasks and available pay rates. This kind of feels more like Appen to where you kind of just spam apply for a bunch of different projects and hope you get in, you know, a few months later. Is it bad? Not exactly. Is it reliable? Definitely doesn't feel like it. Is it quick? No. But is it something that you can probably apply for a few assessments here and there and maybe <laughs> maybe get access in a few weeks? Probably. I would definitely put data annotation, TELUS, and probably outlier and happen above this for now, but it definitely feels like it has a lot of potential. It feels like it's good, but maybe that's all just a ruse to get more people to apply and to work. I don't know. 
So if anyone else has had any positive or negative experiences, especially for this job, uh, leave some comments below so we can, you know, kind of all figure this out together and see if it's worth our time. And as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I'm sorry this took a little bit longer than expected, and I know I have been hinting at a liner for a while now, but I think waiting this long actually made this video even better because I just had more to talk about. If you guys have any other AI companies or jobs that you would like me to look into, uh, you know, I'm always looking for some extra money. I'm always looking to make some video content. Let me know in the comments below.